Good morning, traders. Can you see me or uh, see my screen and also uh, uh, hear me? If you can, just uh, in the uh, uh, advanced webinar uh, chat room, say yes. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, David. Uh, Eighth trader, thank you. Okay, uh, ready to go. All right, so uh, uh, welcome to the uh, the, the Bookmap uh, Advanced uh, Education Live Trading Webinar. It's live analysis Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, so, uh, and then we have our live trading with Jay Trader and Scott Pulsini on Wednesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. Now, this analysis here, though, it's all forward-looking. Uh, we will go over some hindsight uh, uh, just to um, uh, make a, a point, but uh, uh, the goal here is uh, part of our educational process. Number one is we have uh, the educational course that's online. It starts with basic market mechanics, which is essential to understand. Then it goes into market structure uh, and then strategies and setups. And then finally, uh, advanced uh, correlations and um, uh, confluences. Uh, so a pretty complete education that you get there through the course. Uh, but then how do you how do you use it? Uh, well, that's what these live analysis webinars are for. So we'll read the live market uh, and we'll give insight to where we think price will move next or may move next uh, based on our order flow analysis. Uh, so kind of, uh, you know, put it put it to the test so you can apply what you've learned from the course. Uh, we will go through different setups. We will go through different strategies and uh, trade management considerations, but it's really about reading the order flow. Uh, and then we have the, um, uh, uh, you know, live analysis or I'm sorry, live trading from J Trader stocks and, and Scott Pulsini futures trader uh, so that uh, then you can learn from the pros uh, what th they're going to cover uh, their specific trading strategies. Uh, and uh, how they look at the market, how they manage their trades, etc. cetera. Uh, so very complete e education, uh, we feel. Uh, we've just enhanced that uh, by uh, uh, now we have uh, uh, um, Tom B. Uh, in the um, uh, streaming as well uh, here in Discord. Uh, he started yesterday, guys, uh, so uh, I, I know a lot of you um, saw it, and, and he'll do it again today, uh, likely just after the webinar. Uh, he'll get up and running here. Uh, so uh, look forward to that. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, we're offering more and more services for you guys. This is uh, really, we're, you know, we want to build a really robust uh, trading uh, community and uh, um, uh, uh, lifestyle in here. Uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, so, uh, you know, get get help uh, from many others here. Uh, ask others uh, uh, questions. Uh, ask us, um, you know, uh, ask Tom uh, and learn uh, along the way here. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I just view it as a win-win. All right. So let's go through the risk disclosures um, and uh, we'll uh, jump into the live markets here. All right. The general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. OK, very important to understand. Uh, risk disclosure, trading futures, equities and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, and let's jump in uh, and uh, look at what's happening here in the markets. Uh, I just want to show you guys, uh, if you haven't seen it already, uh, you'll see it when uh, when it when it starts up here uh, uh, when Tom is uh, streaming. So uh, um, let's see here. We'll just kind of make this a little bit bigger. Uh, so you know, here we are in the. Um, uh, advanced uh, webinar here uh, in the in the chat room, uh, and then the, the streaming is down here. Uh, Tom is here, uh, so you'll click. You'll see Tom when he's live in here. You'll see the live button like this, uh, and then that you'll join here. Um, and uh, I'll, you can already see some guys are just hanging out in here uh, already waiting for Tom. So uh, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we're just growing more and more. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, hope to uh, offer uh, a lot of different channels, anything that provides value for you guys. That's really the key. All right. So uh, that's what, what we want to do uh, and, uh, and, and build this kind of uh, uh, community and support uh, for you guys, for everybody. Uh, 
I, I just, how can it not be a win-win? Anyway, let's jump in. Let's take a look at the uh, the S&P here and what's going on. We're going to start with the bigger picture uh, and uh, and then drill down. So we saw a huge sell-off yesterday. Okay. Now, this is what we drew on the daily chart. You know, a, we've been looking at it um, for several weeks uh, and um, uh, had this kind of uh, box here drawn up of where we think buyers will start to come in. And you can see that... Uh, uh, right in here, well, a couple different areas we were looking for them, and they, they certainly came in. Uh, one led to all-time highs. The other one was a nice pullback, but look where it went here, okay? Now, this is we're going to use the same concepts in here in terms of market structure, okay? So, uh, you know, price went back up into these areas here. We're, we see some previous wicks in this area here, uh, and we also look for, this is a, you know, a, a structure up here, kind of test the bottom of it cannot find more buyers sellers come in hand over fist uh, they break the trend line they go back down into these areas here uh, you can see the close here and then it kind of went back up bounced a little bit yesterday we got our follow-through uh, sellers to the downside okay and they broke all of these lows here where we found buyers previously okay now what, what do we think uh, uh, we're going to go through different scenarios in the bigger picture here first then we're going to look at book map and look at some of the order flow within some of these bigger picture scenarios uh, looking for uh, the potential move. Uh, and um, it's these scenarios that it's really important to go through. Uh, and <coughs> then when we go through those scenarios, outline them, uh, and then we're going to kind of choose one. It's like, okay, well, we're not getting the sellers we're looking for. We're looking for buyers. They're coming in. All right, we're looking for it to go to this area. Uh, and um, that, that will be the read. All right, so uh, uh, in fact, uh, you can see that uh, in, even in the daily chart here, um, uh, we sold off uh, and we've already come back and kind of retested the bottom of this box here. It just means this this swing here is what's, what's key. It's not the box. Um, uh, it's just the swing here. And that's very typical. You'll see it again and again. You'll see it in book map. All right, so we have it on the hourly chart here in the middle. Uh, you can see we've, we've this has been a big consolidation range. Now watch in here. We had a big sell-off yesterday. Okay, where is price going to go on this daily chart? Boy, I mean, if it continues on down, I mean, we're looking for like you know down into like maybe uh, a high volume node of this range, probably somewhere around here, around 43.50. Um, but uh, buyers are really down here, uh, you know, around uh, 43.10, or even you know way down here uh, at this at these swing lows here uh, 4250 uh, so uh, if sellers continue on uh, then that's what we're looking for here so uh, I am also um, really uh, curious to see this is just a, a beautiful uh, move like you can see we're already breaking the low here uh, we're seeing sellers come in on this hourly chart here I'm very curious to see if we just see like uh, get everyone going south uh, and short in here and then we're going to look at icebergs we're looking at the order flow and look for a potential reversal and a quick one uh, and then maybe a move all the way back up into some of these areas up here around 45 uh, 14 or so uh, 15 14 anyway uh, you know just it, it'll likely kind of kind of continue on I mean this is a strong move to the downside even the pullback in here has been very shallow uh, it has not been strong but that's where we're kind of looking for maybe a, a, a get people, uh, you know, going the, the wrong direction here uh, and then start to move it back up above these swing, this swing here around 4476 uh, and then looking for the fuel to the fire here of everyone getting it wrong uh, and getting stopped out on the way back up. Even if we come back up in here, we're still in a downtrend on this. No question about it on this uh, hourly chart. Uh, even this daily chart here, we close below this, these swings here. Okay, so uh, uh, that's also bearish. Uh, bigger picture, good question. If we look at a lot more data in here, are we still kind of? Uh, I mean, this is this is this broke the pattern, right? So we're we're down low uh, and uh, accepting lower here. So uh, that's that. But if we look at like a weekly and we and we kind of zoom out, uh, we're gonna see. Uh, let's go to a weekly here. Uh, we're probably likely still in an uptrend. Uh, let's take a look here, daily and weekly. Hmm. This is just so inconvenient. Um, 
this rhythmic. Uh, it's nice that they they finally offered it. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, on the weekly chart, we're still in an uptrend. Okay, even with all of this action in here, uh, you, you guys can see. I mean, we did not break below some of these areas in here. So we be, we have to be very aware of what's going on here in in terms of the trends. Uh, instead of being very reactive uh, and jumping in just because like, wow, you know, look at these big red candles coming in here. Um, so let's go back to the uh, daily. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, let's, let's jump into book map now. 15 minute chart over here on the right hand side. You see the sellers coming in. All right. So we're down below uh, the swing here, 43, uh, 4430. Uh, let's jump into book map and see what's going on. And uh, we're looking for a, a few different things here. Look at the high liquidity getting filled all the way through here. Here, pulled here actually. It, got, it filled here, it filled here, it filled here. Okay, and let's look for where more more liquidity is on the, uh, on the bid as well. These are the major areas already. If we zoom out, uh, yeah, down here around 4,400. Uh, and then we have uh, around eight or seven or eight down here as well. There's some liquidity. Um, so what we want to uh, look for now is uh, also our icebergs. Uh, we've we've uh, really uh, seen some great, um, uh, you know, massive iceberg fills here on the bid uh, over the last uh, several weeks uh, for, you know, a larger uh, move to the upside. And we're, we're just trying to gauge here. Uh, uh, and see and understand uh, uh, the amount of selling pressure and what happens with it. Okay, so uh, they're they're absorbing on on the bid or they're getting filled here on the bid, uh, and uh, is there still more selling pressure? Okay, are they still uh, getting filled at lower lows? Uh, at some point, we're looking for exhaustion on the sell side, uh, and we'd be looking for buyers to start to come in. And where would they likely move it? Okay, well the first thing we look for is a break of structure. And this is our first structure to break right now, and it's already breaking it. Okay, so let's see if they can go up a little bit higher here, uh, it, or this is going to be a false break breakout uh, is possible as well. Uh, I'm looking for them to come up a little higher here. Um, 35 is looking pretty good. Um, just looking for a retest back to about 35 or so. And uh, let's see if we can continue. So let's zoom in a little closer. And uh, yeah, it's a false breakdown, a breakout. So uh, uh, let's see if these sellers try to pick it up more and trade into 44.20 liquidity down here. Okay, sellers, you should be able to hit it. Yeah, they're on the bid in front of it, though. Yeah, see, see the reaction to that bid here? And we found some buyers. And this is where the order book can be really in, insightful. There, there's even more here. Okay, so let's see them reach back up to, let's see if they can get back up to 32. And the swing here. Okay, we need to see these buyers at 30. If they're going to do this. Okay, buyers at 30. Let's see if we can get it or 29. Yep, there they go. All right, 32. Looking for 32. Okay, and then let's see if we can get up up to 35 here. Okay, and that would be the first kind of target here. And I'm just looking at kind of a, a you know, uh, where it kind of dropped from here. But I'm also looking at the high volume node. Uh, and they, these are responsive buyers trying to trade it back into, uh, uh, you know, a, a, val a previous value area here. Okay, uh, thanks, uh, uh, David. Looking at uh, Tarantino uh, or Tarantino trading, trading here uh, came up with uh, uh, Tesla. Looking at Tesla here, Let's, we can jump over. I think I have it up. No, I don't. Um, I can add it though.
no the buyers the buyers couldn't couldn't make it here they start to exhaust out here everything's looking pretty good in here uh and then you can see like uh, they just it starts to kind of peter out and they can't even make the the swing to or the move to 32 up here okay it opens the door now for sellers to hit the bid they've already come down here We can look at oil as well. It's down significantly. Okay. Okay, so let's see these uh, these sellers. Uh, yeah, looking for them to push it lower here. They they got it. They're still in control. Um, I, I I didn't go through that element here. Where, where did the buyers and sellers? I mean, who's in control in these moves and 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 reading the pressures uh, in in this market? And they're just going with that trend. Uh, and uh, uh, tons of selling in here. Um, it's not the easiest read in here because they. I mean, we know that they're getting. They've gotten filled uh, in this area here, here, and here, and we see the buying icebergs as well. But there's still more selling pressure. So we're down into our 20 uh, level here, and it's continuing. Okay, next level is, you know, uh, back down to our kind of seven or eight level, and then 4,400. Uh, I don't know if any, anyone see any icebergs yesterday. Uh, large iceberg uh, uh, purchases at the end of the day, uh, you know, at the lows of the day yesterday. It's almost like we should have that uh, as a kind of uh, maybe in the in the uh, in the in Discord here, uh, getting a feel for a uh, number of icebergs uh, in the bigger picture. All right, so uh, anyway, we're going to go back into uh, market structure uh, and read it. Sellers still remain in control here. We continue to uh, 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 trade lower. Um, yeah, I was kind of pulling for those buyers in here. This is where it kind of exhausted out, uh, and then the sellers came in. Uh, in here, it's still possible uh, for the move, but once we start to see the sellers come in here below on some size, they're going to move it, uh, and, and they did. Uh, and, um, uh, yeah, not, not the, it was kind of pulling for these guys, just thinking that this might be enough of a move below here to get people on the hook and then come back up into the range, uh, back here. Okay. And, uh, nothing, nothing shaking there. Still looking though for that scenario. It might happen later in the day. Uh, but, uh, uh looking for those responsive buyers here. Okay, David, what are you looking at here? Let's see the um, Brent uh, Brent Kachuba from Spock Ammo is saying a 20 billion of options uh, OPEX on Tesla. Okay. All right, let's see these buyers lift it back up to 44.20. Let's see if they can do that. Just a pullback here. Now, this is a counter trend, but we're looking for the pullback to here. This is where the significant uh, event took place. So I'm looking for a pullback to that area. There it is. That was quick. Okay, that's it, though. We're just looking for the pullback. Slow computer. 
Okay, beautiful uh, iceberg uh, purchase in there as well. Let's zoom in. What was the size here? About a thousand. Okay, there we go. Well, that's continued. Morning, Tom. Um, okay, well, we've gotten our move back to 25 here. And that became the high volume node. 35 was our previous kind of high volume node in here. But uh, it's turned into uh, 25 now. All right? It's actually way back up here uh, from the beginning of the session here. So what is this area? This is around uh, 60, 4460. Okay, even even though we've broken uh, through some of these areas here, uh, we're looking at the, the buying pressure come in and we're still looking at market structure. Sellers are still in control. Okay, this buying is pretty good, but sellers are still in control. Uh, and this is the structure that they need to break uh, and uh, to move price away from uh, quickly. And that would be in here. Uh, we're going to watch that area closely and see what the order flow looks like around this area here. Okay, so we're looking at a few different scenarios here. Okay, lots of buying, maybe like a kind of flag pattern, which just means that they were bullish in here. It price did not drop. And we're looking for the bulls to come in again uh, and push it. Uh, and that would be your flag pattern. The order flow is very simple within that pattern. We're looking for lots of buyers here. Uh, order book to support it underneath them to pull up here on the offer. And we're looking for our green dots. All right now we're looking for that, that move above the swing here. Okay, back to our 35 level that we're looking for over here. Uh, let's take a look here also as well. Um, uh, yeah, this is this could turn out really nicely here. It, it's possible. Um, we'll need to kind of wait and watch, but uh, let's see if we can get a move back up to, we've already gotten the move to here, uh, 31, this swing on the 15 minute. I'd be looking for 42 up here uh, to this little level here. Let's take a look at book map. Um, and if we can get even more buyers back up in there, we're, we, this, we have that potential um, scenario unfolding uh, right now. Okay, we'll, we'll have to take a look. Uh, and we're looking for a lot of buying uh, to come in. Okay, they've got everyone on the hook uh, sell side here. Uh, and uh, yeah, here's our flag pattern starting to unfold. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I kind of missed, missed that. I, was, I wanted to cover like what this looks like in real time here. Uh, and it's doing it. This is exactly what we were looking for. Um, lots of buying. The uh, kind of sideways consolidation. So this is, you know, uh, just meaning that this was strong. Uh, and uh, it's not going uh, down much, much further. And then we find our buyers come in again. And then here's our order book, right? We see the green dots. Uh, we see them on the bid at higher levels. Uh, they didn't really pull. Uh, liquidity in here, but buyers uh, cut right through it and came back up into high liquidity here at 40, uh, 40, and our move was to 42, right? We just covered that. Do we? And we already got there. There it is. God, this is moving moving pretty fast. Anyway, guys, does that make sense? Like uh, I, I, I was a little uh, kind of slow to kind of. Uh, uh, um, describe all of this in in real time, but that's what we we're looking for. Uh, and now now we're sticking with okay. Well, we made it to 42. Uh, you know, reduce your risk, uh, and uh, you know, move your stops up, uh, and then look for more follow through here. Uh, if and if we're going to do it, now we we're likely going to get a pullback uh, in some of these levels here. And where would those pullbacks go to? Let's take a look. Uh, here uh, is not a bad area, uh, kind of where it broke out from. And we see liquidity coming in here around 32.50. Okay, and let's see if uh, if we get our pullback here. Okay, or is this going to be another pretty, I mean, this was a powerful move here. Do we get a powerful pullback? Okay, look at this also, this little cluster area in here uh, is not bad for a pullback uh, as well. Okay, around 35. 
that's where it, you know that's that previous target we we're looking for and it kind of struggled a little bit it kind of slowed down a little bit and then it broke out right so here's our pullback okay so we can start to anticipate uh, some of these moves like this understanding the market structure understanding these areas here areas of breakout uh, and uh, areas where it kind of struggled a little bit and then broke out again Okay, now we got to go through another scenario as well, since we are still bearish here uh, in this uh, in this move. Even this this is more of a pullback on this 15 minute chart here, uh, and um, uh, it it did it. You know, uh, now we're going to see if we're going to accept uh, again lower, uh, or are we going to be able to trade through that 42 area here? Okay, and we're going to look for some clues in here, and what that might look like. Okay, so uh, yeah, bouncing off of this area here. Okay, this is uh, our pullback came to 30 liquidity here at 30, not 32, and you see the buyers come back in again. Now we got to go through one more scenario in here. Uh, we've seen this so many times of uh, exactly this kind of pattern here. Boy, this is strong buying though. Yeah, it looks like they're going to continue on uh, and uh, and try to get back up into the next swing 50 here, going for 50. <clears throat> and look at look at the the distinction here. Look at the buying coming in. Okay, watch watch some of these stops be triggered uh, start to be triggered uh, as well. We should see some pretty big stop runs up here, maybe above 50. But this this is what we're looking for. I mean, this is the kind of distinction uh, we're looking for. Beautiful pullback to this area and, and continuation. Uh, yeah, this is real, real buying. I mean, I don't see many stops triggered in here, uh, Alan. So, I mean, they're they're buying hand over fist here. Uh, we see, we saw it, it all started with this kind of really quick move here. This was kind of odd, to be honest. It's usually this kind of quick move like this means that, that it's a retest and then look for the sellers to come back in and hit it lower. Uh, typically. Uh, this one uh, followed through though, uh, quick move and then more buying and they just kept buying. Okay, we got it to 50, okay, so and there you go, there's a target now, right? Now, do you want to stay in in this, uh, uh, you know, with this uh, uh, trade idea? Uh, well, uh, maybe, uh, but I, I would suggest like, uh, you know, it hit your target uh, and uh, uh, you know, reduce your risk. It. I, I'm sorry. I said suggest. I shouldn't say suggest. Um, it's. Um, it's a consideration. There are many considerations. There's so many different ways to trade. I mean, like, uh, uh, if uh, uh, you you only have one contract, yeah, look for that high probability uh, move. And and uh, take your take your target, get out. Look for the next one. The next one would be another breakout potentially right here, right now. Look at that strong buying. Okay, so uh, we got to be kind of careful. Uh, so you got to got to reduce your risk, uh, and uh, it's all about taking the risk uh, and trying to take less of it. Okay, looking for something higher probability. Okay, there's 60 level up here. Let's see if we can get up there. Nice, nice uh, be a nice pullback to 60 here. And pullback, I mean, I mean as a kind of this previous value area up here. Okay, and we see the swings up here around 65 or 63, I guess. Okay, let's take a look at the cash open as well. 
And just think about this, right? So, you know, we were kind of looking for this move earlier, uh, maybe around here. It did one more hit to the downside. Uh, and uh, we're still open uh, for these pullbacks here. Now this is starting to turn into a much bigger move. Okay? And the strength of the buying is, is evident. Look at it. Uh, now, wh where could this go? I mean, uh, yeah, we're looking for 60. We're just about at 60. Okay, here's your swing. Uh, now think about if it can get back up here as well. This is the cash open at 930. Uh, move to the upside. Okay. Where would that target be? It would be 4,500 here uh, if we get this strength and get the move back up above uh, 40, uh, this kind of a swing here from the cash open. I still don't see stops being triggered yet. Do not see stop runs here. Uh, so uh, sellers that are in here, like, boy, I mean, they're they're feeling it um, uh, and just thinking, nah, it can't, it can't get up here. It can't. It just can't do it, right? All of that selling yesterday. I'll just move down to the downside today, uh, but you know, we we know that these guys got filled in here uh, on the way down, uh, and we saw the icebergs as well, uh, and then we're looking for that strong bind and that continuation, and looking at some of these patterns in the in the order flow. Okay, so the moves back up, the pullback, and the continuation here. Okay, up at 60, pull back here. All right, look at the move here as well. Okay, these are really strong moves, strong volume. Buyers taking control from this point onward down here. Okay, now that's easy in hindsight. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, we were looking for it. Uh, and uh, uh, now what we're looking for uh, here is looking at the strength of these moves, which is still like, you know, lots of buying, pull back, lots of buying, pull back um, and then still lots of lots of buying but look at it not quite as much right so we're starting to kind of slow down a little bit uh, and uh, uh, you know we have the potential for starting to go a little bit sideways here if we don't see the buyers come in here okay, we're looking at the also the strength of these moves in here it's, it's, it's just not quite breaking out like it did before It's still bullish though. Uh, let's see, Alan, lots of questions in here. So, well, I mean, what I mean by real buying is like, I we know that um, uh, they're not stops. Okay, and that, that tells us something. And what I'm, what I mean by like, uh, you know, trying to define it as, as, you know, real buying, if, if stops is not real, you know, uh, uh, buying or selling, um, it's just because like, it's usually, it means, you know, the market is puking or people are exiting their position. So, uh, they're compelled to buy or sell due to their getting squeezed and, and taking losses. So they're not really entering the market. So like, like Scott, he'll look at, um, you know, the stop runs, huge stop runs. But again, like it, he'll look at the stop run and, and then it, it's what's important is to understand after the stop run, okay, what happens. So if, if this was, you know, you'd, you'd see some stops in here, okay. Um, uh, if you saw a big stop run here, but if you get buyers back up above here, right, and then it's, it's, it's off to the races, or at least back up to some of these, test some of these swings. Uh, and, um, uh, and yeah, th in this case, it's off to the races. Like, uh, you know, they're, they're leaving these guys behind. Here, here's a stop run here, okay, into high liquidity. Okay, but what happened here? We were looking for it. We were looking for the potential move here uh, and uh, didn't unfold. Uh, you know, the market accepted lower below this, uh, our, our line here. Uh, and then... Um, uh, more selling came in, more selling pressure, okay, even though there's a stop run here. 
So the stop run is the thing to, to look for, or the event uh, in, in this case. Uh, but uh, how did the market accept after that event? And that's the key. So for just us reading market structure in here, let's not even look at what we're going to turn off everything except best bid and offer. Okay. Just looking at strength of move, pullback. Strength of move, uh, very shallow pullback. But where's the strength in the move here? Right here looks pretty good, but look at this. This is not the same as this. Okay, so we started to identify that in market structure. Okay, so is it is it kind of a surprise that we're getting this pretty deep pullback now? Even though this is still bullish here, this structure is still bullish. Okay, where this will start to become bearish is when we get below this swing here uh, and then maybe you can test back down to this swing here okay and we'll look for it now we already broke the structure up here okay so this would be let me let me mark up the structures okay now this can um, and we're doing this here this kind of exercise here there's many different ways to look at the uh, a market structure you might be looking at volume profile you might be looking at patterns like flags, like I said. Okay, we're just going to use these sideways consolidations, uh, and then look at uh, swings broken, etc. Okay, and now we're into making a new structure here. Okay, but we read the kind of just best bid and offer the way that it was breaking out up here that we ha might have the potential for this uh, uh, to to start to it was slowing down. Okay. Now what we want to look at is the next context, uh, and uh, we'll, let's put the volume within that context. All right, and there we go. So buyers, strong move, buyers, strong move, more buyers. Ah, starting to see some selling in here. Uh, buyers look pretty good up here again, but uh, pullback broke below the little swing here. Uh, not getting our buyers in here, getting sellers here, looking for that then. If we get our sellers down here, looking for the move back. Uh, we've gotten it, and uh, we we're already even down to this kind of level here. I'm looking for, uh, see if we get our buyers back in here again now. Okay, right in, right in here where we are. Okay, so a uh, little bit of a breakdown here. Let's see if we get our buyers and looking for first just to move back up to 4450. Okay, looking for these buyers in here. Sellers try to sellers in the smaller time frame took control here. They took control here, but I'm looking for the bigger kind of picture here of where the buyers start to come in. Okay. Mostly mostly here, this little point here at around 4430. Okay, but uh, I'm also looking for them to cover here and and buy back Slow computer and cut, try to move back up here and they just they just did so so we're just looking for that pullback and we got it, it, it it's right we're right back down to where we were but let's look at a little deeper here more insight okay another big iceberg here this was uh, how many uh, 600 or so. All right, so this is a context of these two elements, uh, starting to understand uh, uh, structure and, and volume within it. Okay, look at exhaustion here. What if we get sellers here? Okay, I'm looking for then 40, uh, this kind of um, uh, 40 level here to trade. And then it might pull back to our 32 level okay, that we marked up here. Just really simple stuff. Structure and volume. Okay, now we can go through setups in here as well. And what that might look like. Okay, lack of lack of selling here. We gotta see the big selling down here for it to move away. We're back up here. And nothing shaking up here either. No, no buyers here. Likely come right back down to the bottom of the range. 
So what we're looking for within this structure here is buyers or sellers at the extremes to try to move it away from the structure. Okay, here we go. So we should get our buyers here. They should be able to lift it back up to about 55. Uh, and then maybe they can bring it back up to the swing here at 65. Point of control is here at 57. That would be another area to, to test. So these would be responsive buyers trading back to here. 50, 57, 58. Okay, just two elements here. All right, let's add the third element on, which is the heat map. Okay, where are those buyers and sellers? Where's the supply and the demand? Well, they're up here at 60. Okay, there's where the supply is, also 75. Okay, on the bid, they're at 42. All we did was get up back to back up to the top of the range here. Still, I still like this idea to move back to about 57, 58. Let's see. Okay, so bottom of this range, let's see if we get our buyers in here. Let's see if the bid starts to light up. Let's see if we get our dots. And let's see them pull on the offer here. That would be the scenario. Jump in and then looking for the move back up. Okay, we got the bid here. We got some buying, not a whole lot, but the bid looks good. It's just this is not high probability. Okay, it just does not look that good. Okay, so we, we can we can we can scratch that one. Okay, we wait and look for the distinction. Okay, here's another retest back up here. Let's see if we get them now. Okay, and that would be higher probability if we get them now. We be we'd be looking for it to break. All right, here we go. Let's see it. Here are the buyers. Quick move up here. We've got to see those big green dots break it here. Okay. And let's see it. Let's see the let's see them pull here. There we go. Okay, still I don't know about the probability here. Yeah, it's better, but I still don't like the buying up here. But uh, uh you know, we we want we're looking for that distinction. Is not bad. It's not bad here. Starting to do it. Okay, let's see if they can reach 60 here. See, I, I just, on this move here, I, I would not be willing to risk. We're looking for it to move here to 60. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, just not the high, not a higher probability move here uh, is what it looks like. This over here looked much better uh, to me. Much better. Even this pullback to here, great. You know, get back in. Um, and we can go over, uh, you know, where to consider getting in uh, and, um, uh, you know, start to go through some of that if you guys want in more detail. But, you know, like I said, that there's many different ways to do it uh, uh, and to look at changes in the order flow. Or many different ways. Uh, we'll look at the order flow and read the order flow, but many different ways to manage the trade is what I mean. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get more buyers yet again. Looks pretty good to 60. Here they go. Yeah, I like it. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's see here. I'm uh, sorry, Alan. I didn't get to many of your questions here. Um, meaning, oh, for the uh, if they're real buying, like uh, meaning, uh, will it continue? Well, it depends on if they continue to buy uh, and and be consistent with it. See, I mean, they're continuing to buy now. Look at look at look at the dots up here. Um, you know, it's looking better, right? So the move to 60 is already unfolded. Okay, what you know, it just didn't look that great in here uh, uh, for for that bind uh, at that moment. All 
Okay, we are getting the follow through though. So I filtered out a, a, a winner here. Okay, however, uh, this is what we were looking for. It just wasn't worth risking in my in my mind. Again, these aren't trade recommendations. This is reading the order flow. And that's our main goal in here. There we go. Look at that buying there. Great. Okay, let's see if they, they should be able to reach up to 75 here. They're, they want to move it, it looks like. Uh, there's some buying pressure behind here. Uh, looking for some stops. Where are the, where are the stops? Uh, I do not see any stops being triggered yet. Uh, likely it's above here the swing uh and we should see some really nice stops up here uh and uh yeah people are feeling the pain and the squeeze right now uh, no doubt okay guys so look look at the bigger picture here this is really important to cover here i'll get to you guys questions uh sorry alan um i'm backlogged on your on your many questions here uh but the um uh the bigger picture here uh in the read here is and 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 we outline the scenario here first even on the daily uh and then looking looking at the hourly and then looking at the 15 minute and then looking for pullbacks to here at 30 42 uh and then if can there be more buying and then we're looking for the move back up here okay and we're just about at 75. Okay, now we should see a nice stop run up here, no, no question. And look at the look at the even the hourly here. This is strong. I, I would imagine they're going to try to continue to move it back up to about uh, well 4500 uh, or maybe uh, uh, 4515 here. But for that to move, like we're we're just going to read the order flow uh, and look for that higher probability move. Okay, there's our move to 75. Uh, stops trying to starting to kind of show a bit. Okay, the the high liquidity is up here at 4,500. Okay, I'm going to cover Doug's question here because uh, I, I I know how to answer it easily. Um, uh, as you guys know, Doug is uh, he did a, a pro trader webinar, uh, and uh, he's looking at gamma spot gamma levels. Uh, you might want to go check out um, what he's looking at because he's looking. He he too was looking for ES reversal. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, read uh, Doug's comment in there, uh, and uh, ask Doug if you have any any questions about what what he does. But uh, you know, many different ways to look at this. I know Tom is going to cover it uh, when the webinar stops here, so uh, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, and uh, uh, Tom, Tom will be, uh, uh, you know, he'll be going through this in detail, I'm sure. Okay, and he'll get his take on it. Uh, one of the things that I've said in here, uh, kind of many, many times over, uh, is. Um, you know, we've got a really nice network of traders in here uh, with a lot of experience. Uh, so the Bookmap Advanced Education uh, that we provide, we're trying to just um, create a foundation for you guys uh, in this education. Uh, that's the goal. Uh, and then with that, from that foundation, you can really build uh, whichever way you want to go. So this was actually my experience in in uh, in Bookmap, when I first came to to Bookmap, was uh, you know oh yeah I looked at volume profile I looked at uh, Elliott Wave I looked at candlestick patterns I looked at you know other other types of patterns uh, looked at uh, you know different volume studies like it just went on and on and on uh, point and figure uh, charts I mean we've all done this okay what was lacking for me though was understanding basic market mechanics. Uh, and that's why I really uh, encourage you to watch part one of our educational course. Uh, and then you can build upon that. 
okay come back forget all your other previous education forget about market profile understand what makes the market move uh, and look for those moves to take place then bring your market profile back in okay or your pattern trading uh, back in okay it's just and then you're gonna you're gonna it's it's just gonna be such higher probability uh, because the transparency is here in bookmap uh, and then go through start to go through scenarios like what you know we were looking for this scenario even before even as price was going down we we're looking for this scenario okay and this one un unfolded uh let's see here all right so anyway enough on that let's see uh alan what do you have to say um yeah i mean it, it's I, I would say don't, uh, you know, just because it's, um, it's the, after an order flow event is what's key. How, how did the, what did the market feel about that event? Right? Same way that Scott looks at stops and icebergs. Okay, the event took place. Right now, what now? What happened? So even though it's a stop run, or even like a, you see a book sweep uh, of of an area, doesn't mean it's going to reverse at all. Uh, it could accept lower uh, and then continue to sweep the book lower. Right, that's what we want to ascertain, and we got to go through those scenarios. If that happens, then what would it look like? Well, we look for buyers above that sweep. Okay. Uh, and it'd be kind of like this right in here. Okay, if this were a sweep, I'm sure it is. Um, uh, in here, there's going to be some book sweeping. Uh, and then buyers are back up above it here. Even bounced off of this area and back, and, and, and then back up. So that, that's the um, answer, uh, Alan, uh, to those questions, I think. And then, uh, you know, you look for the scenario to unfold, but then manage your risk. Ignition algos, yeah, even with ignition algos, like uh, you, it, it's, it's uh, uh, great to see. Uh, and, um, but we want to see if it's successful or not. What's the reaction to that ignition algo? What does the market feel about it? This is why the ignition algo is a part of it, but it's a subset. Just like stops and icebergs, they're a part of it, but it's a subset. Order flow rules first. All main top, uh, uh, okay, David. So this was you. You wrote this a while back, but uh, mo most of the. Uh, Tech stocks are seriously lower. Was filled and a blip up. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I, even though we have some inflation and, and, and some of these kind of bigger picture, you know, fundamentals or whatever it is, I mean, we're, there. there's nothing really like, uh, uh, I, I just think it's kind of advertising to get people to go short and then try to trade it right back up. You know, sell that story, sell that story at the open, get people going short. Here here they are absorbing on the bid. Uh, and then here's the move. Right. Now let's see them continue. Now they've 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 breached the uh, high for the day here in the cash session already. OK, and we start to see the selling coming in here now. Oh, great. OK, Fabio, this is your first uh, advanced webinar. Excellent. Yeah, you know, I, I'm. I don't want to. Uh, uh, I don't know how. You know, I'm. I'm kind of getting. I'm kind of getting uh, feedback. Like uh, for years, we've been we've been doing it this way, but you know, maybe maybe we should kind of change it up a little bit. Um, uh, the the what I've tried to do, or in our education, what we've tried to do here is provide that foundation, a really rich, rich foundation. Then you can take it any way that you want. 
uh, you want to take it toward volume profile. You want to take it toward uh, Elliott Wave um, or, you know, uh, range bound trading. Uh, wh whatever it, whatever your strategy might be, look at the order flow. Okay, even candlestick pattern trading. Like we can we can uh, uh, take a look at. I, I love doing this exercise. Um, I, I'm not the biggest fan of candlestick patterns, but um, I did, they just fail all the time. I, I feel. Uh, but we you know start to look at it. Okay, well yeah, here we have some wicks, right? And we got to close above uh, these wicks here. That looks pretty good. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, so if that is what you trade, candlestick patterns, then you'd be looking for a move back up, and this would probably be your buy up in here, right? And do you see volume in here that supports uh, that move? Yeah, you do, okay? Is the order book supporting it? Yes, it is underneath here, okay? So this should confirm your candlestick pattern. Okay. You, you might even be able to get in, uh, you know, at some of these lower areas here. Uh, this would be more of a pullback, even with the candlestick pattern. This would be more of a pullback to some of these swings up here, right? And this five-minute candlestick. Okay, so, uh, uh, you know, looking now, what would you be looking for down here? You'd look, be looking for exhaustion on the sell side uh, and buyers start to come in. And then you'd be looking for the move back up into uh, these previous... Uh, uh, previous wick areas here All right okay doug I take a look at the spy sure All right anyway look for the for the order book here to support this as well like on this move down in the candle in, even in this candlestick pattern yeah great okay sellers you know uh sideways you know more selling back down into these areas here uh buyers okay put together just these two elements alone look at all of this absorption or all of this on the sell side here or, or buy side they're they're getting filled this is where it's just going to help your candlestick pattern so simply right so this is another trading method so whatever method you're trading look for the order flow to support it And yeah, I just uh, feel that uh, can really, really be beneficial for you. So Tom's going over his volume profile okay, in detail. Okay, I'll look at some of it. Like here, high volume node. Let's see if we get a bounce off of it here by buyers. Or they're going to kind of explore down to 40, 45, 50 here and then come right back up to uh, 44, 60. Well, let's take a look. So far, more sellers. So looking for them to try to trade down to this 55 liquidity here. Just for, the, for, just for this move here, selling coming in, looking for 55. Okay, even though it now it's starting to kind of test this structure here, even test here, but it hasn't broken here. Now it has. Now it has. Okay, well, we didn't get the 55. So now likely to come right back up. It's bouncing off of this area. So looking for buyers to try to trade it back up to uh, maybe, maybe around here, 60, 67, but 70 is where the liquidity is. Fabio, so what what do you what's your main uh, technical analysis? What, what what are you usually trading? And uh, let's take let's put put spy in here. I don't think I have it up. Okay. Ah, there, there you go. There's David, David with uh, David W with another one. The overnight that was also the overnight high, right? Exactly. So, so you know, looking ar ar now, uh, exactly. So there is a level that you're looking at. What's the order flow around that level?
Okay. Uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't get back up. We got back up to here, almost 67. Uh, this is still kind of bearish here. We didn't get back up here. We didn't find enough. They did not break the structure here. So yeah, now we can get the move back down to 60, um, and then uh, maybe our our a previous 50 55 pulled uh they're down here it looks like at 52 and 50 instead and we're getting our answer here here come our buyers okay quick move here kind of nasty move there we've seen this move now a bunch of times actually we saw it, it kicked off this whole move to the upside look at this nasty stuff sweep the book then throw a whole bunch of orders underneath it here, and we get more buyers here. Then they pull. Okay, more buyers here. All right, so 70 is looking good. They should be able to hit it. This is some some uh, uh, new buying coming in here. So looking for 70, looking for 75, uh, and then maybe 80. Heck, this could be the move on up to, to uh, uh, 4,500 here. Strong buying, so looking for the continuation here. 75, 80. Ah, okay, so you started uh, Fabio Crypto three years ago on volume data, FIB times, horizontal. Okay, interesting. If you trade FIBs, look for order flow around your FIB levels. Intraday scalping. Oh, cool. Yeah, good to hear. Um, uh, David actually showed something really great uh, today in the uh, crypto uh, chat room. Uh, Tarantino, David Tarantino. Um, and uh, uh, he showed, uh, I, I forgot all about it. It's like in terms of crypto, um, <laughs> I kind of forgot the CME uh, offers uh, uh, crypto futures. What does that mean? That means we can get uh, MBO data for that. That's fantastic. So uh, take a look at the crypto uh, room. Uh, in fact, let me let me bring it up here. Um, I mean, great, great stuff here. Uh, here it is. Okay, and uh, let's open it up a bit bigger. Yeah, look at all those icebergs in here. Okay, icebergs in here. Boom. Right, so uh, nice trade, David. Beautiful. Yeah. So uh, yeah, here here we go. CME product um, and uh, stops and icebergs. Forgot all about that. Um, all right, guys. So we're up there. We're looking for the stronger mover. Almost at eighty. I'm still looking for them to hit eighty and break out. Uh, likely get a bit of a pullback here, probably to about sixty-five or sixty-eight right here. Just top the you know top of the structure. Okay, again, let's just mark up the structure. Okay. Look at your P-shaped profile here as well. Even though there's a lot of selling up here, right? Doesn't doesn't really matter. It's still heavy, heavily weighted uh, up here. And if we get buyers back up above this area here, so we got to get buyers back up above right here, the swing. Uh, then we can get the nice move. One, one, one caveat, though, is usually when you see a lot of sellers up here, they'll sell again. Uh, so even though it's P-shaped, you know, we're reading the, the volume within the profile here. And that's kind of key, a key understanding. But on, on the other hand, like, you know, so many times we see that, well, it's actually just about trading activity in general. Uh, if you can get it up here, like you can get more up here. Uh, and maybe you'll get buyers up here now. And then maybe they'll move it. So that's what we got to read when we zoom in here. All right, let's uh, continue on. Let me get back to the questions. 
Yeah, and let's take a look at spy. Okay, I didn't do that. Ah, Doug, look at that beauty. Big one. Usually spy is a lot harder to read than uh, the Qs, um, but uh, there it is. It filled it already. Okay, huge liquidity in here. Look at the distinction. I love the way Doug looks at these um, uh, ETFs uh, and then looking at these huge, huge areas of liquidity on the bid way down here, on the offer way up here. Uh, let's see if we get more buyers here. Just because it traded into it, like, like we said, the event is this. Okay, and you'd be looking, it, it's almost like a no-brainer down here. You're looking for that move up into it. Look at that buying in here. Uh, they're going to charge right after it. Okay, now do we get more up here? I see a lot of selling in here. So it looks like some back and forth in here, but we're going to watch. Slow computer. And see if we get more buyers up here. You know, we might have to just kind of get back, go back and forth in here um, for a bit before we can get buyers back up here to break out. Nice one, though. And this is a hard market. I mean, like, if you look here, look look how close they are to best bid and offer in here. Okay. Well, that's because they're using this for hedging. And this is how this market is being used. Or this instrument. And uh, you, can e you can still use it, though. You know, looking at these areas of really high liquidity. Yeah, great stuff, Doug. Okay, some selling in here. We didn't get buyers up here looking for that pullback. We're, it's starting to pull back a little bit or, you know, back and forth in here. I still like the scenario here looking for buyers to come back in and trade it back up into this kind of 4480. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 448. All right, back to the S&P. Uh, let's take a quick look at Bitcoin uh, as well. Ooh, I had some data loss in here. So that's not, not too helpful. Yeah, not seeing much anyway in here. It's a mess. It's really messy. Nice move to the downside. Sweeps down here into high liquidity. Nice move back up. Sweeps up here. All right, here's our pullback. Okay, let's see if we get buyers in here now. Okay, looking for them and looking for a move just back up to here, 75. Okay, we see the liquidity coming in a little in front of it, 74, 73. Okay, we see our buyers here though. And let's see if they can move it on up a bit higher. Okay, a little bit more buying here. There they are. Let's see a little bit more. The bid looks okay here at 65. Well, it did. They just pulled. Yeah, no, they can't hold it. A hey, potential false breakdown. Let's take a look. Okay, yeah, I like it. Now they they brought it back to this little area here. Let's see them. They got to break it here. They got to break this uh, 68 level here. And they 
like it not. Here they go. One more try. Let's see if they can break it better, but still haven't broken it yet. Okay, there we go. Let's see them break it now. And let's see if we can get moved back up to 72, 73 here. Not bad. Not bad volume. Looking for it then. 72, 73. Okay, and pull away from this area here. Okay, now how, 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 what's a what's a trade consideration for this? Looking for this uh, this move here. So, uh, you know, basically getting in around sixty eight ish or right right around in here. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it would be just looking for a quick shot back up into uh, seventy two seventy three. Uh, and then uh, where would you place your stop? Okay, well, you're looking for this to work now, uh, and um, uh, it, it, and it should, uh, if we get our buyers here, it should, and they should be able to reach it back up into these areas here. So where would you place your stop? Uh, probably uh, uh, below maybe here or maybe the swing down here. Okay. But uh, if you start to see selling coming in here, I would bail on it. Um, I mean, big selling coming in here. Okay. Now, I would also, um, you know, just, just considerations here. I'd be stopped out at break even on this one. I'm giving it a shot. I'm looking for this move to work now. If it doesn't work now, I am out. Okay, you can always get back in. And that's the beauty of a retail trader. We have that flexibility. Okay, looking again, getting in here, let's see, 68. If we get it, if we see enough buyers here, okay, there. Now I want, I also want confirmation in the order book here. I don't like to see this here, liquidity in here. I want to see the opposite of that. So yeah, I wouldn't be getting in this. I wanted to see them on the bid supporting it here, and I, I don't want to see this. I want to see them pull here on the offer. Okay, now now they're starting to do it. Let's see if we get some on the bid now. If we can get back up here around 68, 69. Okay, so they pulled. Okay, now a little on the bid. All right, let's see it, buyers. Then, okay, take a shot at it, looking for the move that we originally looked for up here. Okay, this is looking much better. See how that's higher probability? There's our move, right? So, and still looking for this to 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 uh, uh, to go. Okay, maybe take partial profit if you're trading one lot. There's that's your high probability move right there. Okay, that was kind of kind of tricky and kind of fast in here. Okay, we tried it here, stopped out at break even. Still, scenario is open. Didn't like this in here, but once they pulled, once they started add in in this area in here, then we're looking and we see the buying in here. We're looking for that break. Okay, and they're still in control from here. They are still in control. Move the stop to break even though. Give it a shot here. It should work. They're trying to pull it away from this area here on size. Looking for buyers again up here. 77. Hit 77. Okay. Does that make sense? Let me can I can kind of mark it up here, I think. I'll use rectangles. Okay. So uh yeah, in in here, somewhere around here. Okay. Stop would be uh, uh probably down here. Uh, and then looking for it to move, uh, and, and it should it should work, okay? Uh, partial profit here for a quick scalp, reduce the risk, stop at break even, or if you did if you take your your stop or your a partial profit up here, this is what you can do. Oops, sorry. We've gone it over a bunch of times in the past. Okay. So you took your profit there. Your stop can still be down here. Your original stop can still be down here. It's one to one. Okay. 
Uh, however, your risk is zero. Like uh, if you get stopped out down here, you made nothing. Okay. If you move your stop to break even here, you still made this leg here, right? And this is still in play. This move is still in play. Okay, looking for more buyers back up here, and then the move to 77. Okay, don't don't like it now. I mean, I, I see exhaustion and sellers coming in. Okay, but uh, it's still in play. Buyers took control here. The move and, and the break above it at our 68, 69 level in here. Okay, stopped out at break even on the on the second leg, took partial profit. Okay, now if you if you stayed in the bigger picture here, you're you're you didn't get stopped out. Right, you're giving it more kind of breathing room here, and you're still in it, and it still looks good. Looking for them right here, looking for that skew in the order book again on the bid, and looking for our buyers. It's stream up to seventy seven. There it is. Beautiful move. Okay? And it's still going. All right? So there there's a trade scenario uh, for you guys. So uh, going and reading the order flow but now in consideration of a possible trade management. Beautiful move. Uh, I think I think it can still Let's see if we can maybe get back up into you know still looking for the bigger move up here. I I and I think it 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 looks it looks really good right now. Look at the buying coming in here, higher time frame, and it looks good. You know, looking for the move back up into forty five hundred basically. Okay, see the distinction. See see the volume on this time frame. Now you could still be in the move from over here, in any of these areas here. Okay, depends on what time frame you're trading. Like when we started the webinar, we we're looking for this scenario to unfold. Okay, and it, and it, and it has. Okay, get everyone going the wrong way, but what do we note? Absorption on the way down, also icebergs, uh, and then we're looking for our buyers on the way back up and, and to, to, to move it away quickly, and they did. All right, so any, any questions on that? This is, I mean, basic, you know, uh, trade management uh, considerations here. Very, very, very simple. Now, if you got stopped out on the, on you know, move to break even and you took that leg and then you, you missed all of this, yeah, you're kicking yourself, but you could always get back in. Like, okay, it, it stopped you out. This is exactly what it's meant to do. Uh, test down here. Is there you know, more uh, uh, aggressive sellers in here uh, and, and test it. There weren't. Buyers come back in and move it right back up. Okay. S&P does this all the time. Okay. This kind of uh, uh, retesting areas. This is one of the reasons why we don't cover it too often. Um, it, it's moving so nicely uh, the last few weeks that we've been covering it. But um, uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the past, it was just painful. Uh, so we, we jumped over to NASDAQ uh, and uh, it, it that market tests, you know, uh, and retests other areas as well, but not as often. Uh, it's more volatile. Thanks, David. Yeah, London close um, 13 minutes. Yeah, that's going to change up everything, um, you know. So it's gonna there's gonna be some volatility and some back and forth and we'll just you know have to kind of hang on for the ride. Uh, sometimes it, it it's really clear to read. Other times it's just really muddy. I would say it's more muddy than than uh, uh, than not. <laughs> Typically, I don't know how you guys feel, um, 
but uh, uh, yeah, the uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I like reading the uh, the market open uh, and the the strong directional moves in the open. Um, I, I kind of struggle with the uh, order flow at the close uh, of the S or the uh, uh, U.S. session, though. I mean, there's just so many big players doing so many different things. It's like, whoa, look at that. That's a ton of volume. And then they come in with even more volume and move it the other way, um, you know? So, like, uh, uh, it, it's crazy. It, it's, it's, hard. it's a hard read uh, sometimes. Sometimes it's very, very clear. Um, so, um, uh, anyway. Oh, thanks, David. Um, yep. Uh, and then uh, Osterman. Yep, thank you. Thank you very much. Um I'm glad it's helpful. That's what we're here for. Ask questions, please. Uh, happy to go through it. Like if, if if this is like the kind of content that you guys are looking for more about like trade management considerations in here, we can go through them. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, like the, the whole and we've been doing it for years. Maybe it's time to shake it up a little bit. Uh, maybe this is more helpful. Uh, the, uh, the, the idea, though, and the concept has always been read the order flow and then it work if you can read the order flow correctly it can work for any trading strategy okay or any trade management strategy as well and that's that's uh, the key i mean really it's like trying to cover all bases because it's there uh, and that's why i really encourage you guys to watch part one of the educational course understanding these kinds of moves here look at this book sweep here well it's not so much a book sweep it's a little bit um uh, but um, look at this move lower here. Okay, sellers dominating here on this very small time frame. Do we get buyers back up above here, 77 and a half? No. Do we see more sellers in here? Let's see. Okay, now this is more micro type of uh, 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 outlook here. Okay, but it's the same concepts here. Look at even icebergs on the other side here. Interesting. Look at the dynamic between stops and icebergs. They're going to run the stops. Someone's going to be on the other side going, yep, I'll take all of that. Okay, and now we're looking for some sort of consideration in here from the order book. We know the structure. This is the structure. Okay, and now we're looking at the order book uh, as well as the, 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 the volume within that structure. Okay, we're down here. We're still down low here. Okay. And we have exhaustion on both. It's not really exhaustion on both sides. It's just back and forth here. And, and look at the volume is all right in the middle of this three tick range in here. So we're looking for more buyers up here or more sellers down here. Just in this small, tiny little example here. Okay. So now we're down here. Best bid is down here. Do we get sellers here though? Nope. No, all the trading is taking place right in the middle tick still. Oh, okay. There's something different right all right so can they do it again oh now we got some buying look at the order book in here okay well look at the, let's get another little bit of a buy volume here at 77 and then we'd be looking for what our move to up here 77 and a half or even the swing above now we're looking for liquidity up in these areas for the uh, those buyers to reach okay there's more buying See the distinction? There they go. There's our move up to here. And that was it. That was all we're looking for. Now, I know that's like a, a point or something, right? Uh, same concepts, though. Same, Slow computer. Same exact concepts here. All right. So now wrap trade, strategy, uh, you know, trade management uh, around something like that. Maybe you're looking for a pullback to here. And then you're looking for, you know, you're, you're, this is where they took control. So you're looking for a pullback to here and then you're getting in. You look at exhaustion up here. Sellers come back in. They're likely going to trade it right back down here, at least to here, at least to here, right? Because this is the high volume node here. Same ideas. This is where it, and what I mean by this, this is important because I, I don't want to go through so much. I want to also kind of dissect uh, a market and volume profile. What is going on down here? We have a lot of trading activity down here. Okay, we, we see them trying to pull it away. Now, this is our response of sellers bringing it back down here. 
just means it can likely transact down here again because this is where there were transactions previously okay and we get the move down here and then look look who's taking control okay moving it away okay so looking for them to continue to try to move it away and it's just back and forth and back and forth anyway these are smaller moves here right and we got to look at the bigger picture but you can you can look at those th these different time frames in here right just understanding those market mechanics uh now it, just understand what makes the market move uh and then uh, and now start to bring that into maybe volume profile maybe it's patterns trading etc Oh, thanks, Osterman. Yeah, really appreciate it. Okay, excellent, Fabio. Well, uh, guys, buckle up. I'm I'm gonna sign off here and then uh, open it up uh, for uh, uh, Tom to start streaming. I look for him. It's just uh, in the Traders Lab, right? You know, right in this little area here, guys. You'll see it. Uh, so, uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know, pass the baton on to uh, to Tom and uh, let uh, let him take it away here. Yeah, thanks, Bog. Alan, have a great weekend, guys. Yeah, excellent. Thanks, David, Fabio, and Doug. All right, uh, look for the recording here. I'll have it up pretty soon, um, uh, maybe maybe in a couple hours or so, uh, and uh, I'll show you where it is uh, so that you guys have that. Let's see here. Great trade, David. I love it. How can you see what's happening? Great, great, great stuff in that crypto. And that that's, uh, God, that's such an edge. Like, uh, uh, to look at MB, I forgot all about MBO data and crypto. That's just awesome. Um, yeah, yeah. God, and just uh, such a, such a good, uh, good idea. I'm kind of jealous. Um, so uh, anyway, um, let's, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, 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 our YouTube page. And this is where they'll be. You'll, you'll find them down here, recordings um, of live streaming webinars. I think I'm going to reword that live streaming webinar recordings. How about that? Okay. All right, guys. Uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Uh, look for Tom. He'll he'll be cranking it up here, I imagine, pretty soon. Uh, and um, uh, we will uh, we'll see see you guys on Monday. Okay. Okay. All right. Take care, guys. Bye bye.